Sharon, I see you. So we're gonna get started in a couple minutes, but I just thought I'd give us some time to get here and get set up and get ready. We're gonna need a few different supplies here. I don't know if you can see in the sign. Um, we're gonna need a bunch of different recyclables, uh, some scissors, some markers, some crowns, and some tape. Um, and we're also gonna need a stapler today. So I made sure to kind of lay everything out for you guys and um, we'll get started right at one o'clock and then um, we'll get going. You guys having a good day so far? Is anybody reading anything good? I brought the creeper with me today to hang out with us. We're going to be making um, three different DIY instruments today, um, so make sure you have some supplies on hand or you can just come back and watch this video when you get supplies that you need and um, follow along with the instructions that way. Um, so we are going to get started. I'm going to remove my sign because it is officially one o'clock and we're going to put that down. All right. So the first set of instruments we are actually going to make today are maracas. So maracas are usually in a pair and they make lots of noise. So um, I do apologize to any parents watching. Your houses and uh, places of residence are going to might get a little noisy. Um, so for this particular DIY, you're going to need two empty bottles. Um, I have two empty water bottles. You can use this size or you can use even the smaller sizes. And then you're also going to need two toilet paper rolls. You're gonna need something to make the noise. So I have some popcorn kernels with me here today, but you can also get peanuts or dried pasta or dried beans or some um, actual some beads as well. Those are great for making noise. You're gonna need a pair of scissors and you're gonna need some tape. I'm using some masking tape. Now, um, you might also want to decorate your handles today, uh, just in terms of time, we're not really going to do any decorating, but you are more than welcome to do that at home. You can grab some markers, some crayons and decorate your handles and your um, bottles if you want as well. Um, you can also wrap your bottles with some paper if you want to do that to add some decoration as well or some add some stickers. Stickers are really popular for decorating. All right, you guys get ready to get you guys ready to get started. So the first thing we are going to do is take our empty bottles and we are going to uncap it, each of the bottles, and we are going to fill it with our noise. Fill it as much as you want. Um, you can have as little or as lot as you like. Miss Sharon says Genevieve's been reading King Baby. Oh yes, that's from the popular Boss Baby series. Super funny. I always wonder how parents feel about reading that particular story, since the the child in that story is the one uh, taking over and telling all of the parents what to do. All right, so now that we have our noise in our bottles, we are going to take the cap and we're gonna tightly recap it. Make sure that it's twisted tightly all the way closed. All right, so now that we have our bottles prepared, we are going to make the handles. So in order to make the handles, you're gonna take your toilet paper roll after you've done decorating it you're gonna take your scissors. If you're um, younger and still learning how to practice with scissors, I recommend using the kids safety scissors. If you're a little bit older, already kind of got your scissor skills down, go for it. Um, but of course, if you feel more comfortable, please use um, 
a parent in the room to help you. So we are gonna take our scissors and we're just gonna cut right down in a line to open up our toilet paper roll like this. You're gonna do that for each of the toilet paper rolls. All right, so now they're both like that. And this is gonna be the trickier part. Um, so you might need a parent's help but I definitely encourage you to try on your own if you can. You're gonna take the toilet paper roll, you're gonna line it right on top of the cap here, and you're gonna kind of squish it so that it's nice and tight around the cap. You see how our toilet paper roll kind of shrunk down because we kind of pushed it together to make it tight around the cap. So you're gonna to wanna to do that with some tape so that we can secure it. So I'm gonna grab some tape. And I kind of just put the tape on me to kind of keep it there. So we're going to squeeze around the cap here to make it nice and tight. So like I said, this is kind of the trickier part. And you're going to take your tape to secure it to the water bottle. You might need more than one piece, um, and that's okay. Some people also like to just use tape, so it's okay if you use a lot of it. Um, use your best judgment. I just, you just want to make sure that the handle is nice and tight and secure over that cap. So I'm going to use one more piece just to make it nice and secure. All right. All right. So now that it's nice and secure, you can flip it over and give it a nice, and give it a nice shake. Um, so now you have completed one of your maracas. You're going to repeat that same step with your second bottle. So we'll go over that again real fast. So again, we're going to take our toilet paper roll, keep it nice and tight over our bottle cap here, kind of shrinking it down. There we go. Again, this might be a bit of the trickier part because you have to squeeze it while you're also using the tape to secure it to the bottle. All right, I'm gonna grab another piece of tape. All right, one more for good measure. All right, and now we're gonna do the test and it's nice and ready to go. All right, so those are how you can make um, a pair of maracas. All right, so feel free to make up a song, give it some shake, do what you can, uh, invite friends and family to make their own and make a little band. So that was our first DIY craft. Our next DIY craft is something simple. It's a little bit more simple for our younger crowd if we have any younger kids here today. This craft I actually did for our New Year's Eve uh, celebration when we were doing countdown to noon. It's a really easy way to make a noise maker or a little bit of a shaker. All you need for this craft is a paper plate. Again, you're gonna need something to make the noise, so I'm using popcorn kernels today. And you're gonna need a stapler. If you want to decorate this particular instrument, um, I, you're gonna take your paper plate and have it so that the back is what you're decorating. Um, so I have some markers with me here today, so we're just gonna kind of color our paper plate. You can use designs, you can use patterns, you can add stickers or glitter if you really want to. Um, I know glitter gets everywhere, but it's always fun. So I'm just gonna choose some colors and get really a lot of fun just kind of decorating it. This is really good for all of our little ones who are just learning how to write or get used to holding something in their hands. It's really good for fine motor skills, um, getting them used to using a marker or a writing utensil. So let them go crazy, color however they like. It doesn't have to be pretty or perfect. It's just something that they can do themselves. So let's see, I'll finish it off with the same color. All right. So we are getting to finish coloring the paper plate. All right, and then this is where parents or caregivers or grown-ups in the room or older siblings who can help with younger siblings, this is where you come in. 
So we have our finished decorated paper plate. Now we're gonna fold it in half, just like this. You can crease it at the bottom if you want so that the design is on both sides. And we're gonna staple the edge all the way through until we leave a bit of an opening here to put in our noise. So like I said, this might be good for some older siblings or some grown-ups in the room. So we're just gonna staple all the way around the edge. This also works with the smaller plates, if you guys have smaller plates at home. Um, or if you want to use a piece of paper, like a thicker piece of paper, you, you would have to just make sure you, you uh, staple it close together so nothing falls out. So I left a little bit of space here. We're gonna take our noise maker and we're gonna fill it. Put as little as a lot as you like. Now you, now you can hear the noise. So you're going to finish this up by grabbing your stapler and stapling the rest of it closed. All right. So now you've made your shaker and your noise maker. Like I said, this is a great one for younger kids um, if this one is a little bit too hard for them. So we're going to give it a nice shake. All right, so that was our second craft and we have one more to go. This one is a fun one. This is going to be a, a cereal box or pasta box or cardboard box guitar. So this is my favorite one. This is a little bit more advanced. Um, you are going to need a empty box. Uh, cereal boxes work well or pasta boxes. You are going to need um, a toilet paper roll to be your uh, fretboard there and you are going to need some rubber bands to make our strings and a pair of scissors to cut out our hole. So let's get started. All right, so if you had a box that was previously opened like I did, you are going to wanna make sure you tape the box closed. So I'm gonna take some tape and I'm going to tape it so that it definitely stays closed. All right, so I have my box taped. All right, so we are going to take a marker to mark off. We're gonna draw an, an oval type shape so I don't know if you guys tuned in yesterday or not, but we had Miss Sharon singing Old MacDonald How to Farm and she brought her guitar with her. So if you wanna see what an actual guitar looks like, you can tune into that previous video um, and then maybe bring your craft guitar to play along with her. So now that I drew my circle, I'm gonna take scissors. This might be good for an, a grown up in the room to help you with, uh, cause we're gonna have to poke a hole right where our hole is and then we are going to cut our circle out. So like I said, this might be a good step for grown-ups to help you with, um, but if you think you got a handle on it, you know, definitely if there's a grown-up in the room, give it a try. We just wanna be safe with our scissors, uh, especially since cardboard is a little bit harder to cut out than some paper. All right, so your circle does, or oval doesn't have to be perfect. Mine definitely does not look perfect. Um, but you just wanna make sure you make that opening in the uh, inside of your box so that it looks like this. And then from here, you're gonna to wanna to take your rubber bands. Does anybody know how many strings are on a guitar? Anybody? Let's see. So if you don't know, there are six strings on a guitar. Um, but today I only brought, my example only has three strings. I find that that's a good number, but you can definitely make up to the six strings. So we are gonna take our rubber bands and we are going to place them over the box so that the rubber band lies right over the hole here. So you can start by bringing it up to the top and wrap it all the way down to the bottom. And then you just wanna make sure that it goes over the hole here. 
hear that sound? We're getting started. Make some music. All right, so I'm gonna put the last rubber band around here and that'll conduct, uh, conclude. We'll, have, we'll keep it to three strings today. Um, all right, so now that we've got this part finished, it's time to add on our fret, our whole handle for our guitar. So this one is a little bit more complicated again. You're gonna take your um, toilet paper, or sorry, your paper towel roll, and you're gonna tape it to the top here of the box. So this might take some maneuvering. Uh, if you want, you can definitely decorate this as well with your markers, just in lieu of time we didn't decorate today. So I'm gonna grab some tape, and we are going to tape this to the box. Like I said, this is a bit of a harder part. You have to maneuver. Has anybody heard any good songs lately? I know Miss Sharon sang Old MacDonald yesterday. Does anybody have any other favorite songs they like to sing or nursery rhymes while we're making our guitar here? I like to do um, The More We Get Together is a favorite song of mine. I also like... Um, what else do we usually sing? If you're happy and you know it. Um, for my older kids, I know jo JoJo is really popular. Uh, who else? Laura Berkner and Rafi. Those are some favorites of mine. All right. So we should be all done here. And now you have your guitar. So another way to manipulate some of the sounds, Little Bunny Foo Foo, yes, it's a good one. We also really like Sleeping Bunnies here. That's a great, fun song. Um, so I don't have any crowns with me right now, but you can take a marker, a pencil, or a crown, and you're gonna slide it under the rubber bands, and that's gonna manipulate the sound of your rubber bands when you strum them. And we're gonna do one more underneath here just to give it a different sound. There you go. All right, and that is your cardboard box guitar. I hope you guys had a lot of fun today learning about how to make some of these instruments at home. It's a great way to reuse some of the materials you might already have at home. We hope that you get to make some fun music and uh, some noise, maybe uh, drive your parents a little crazy or go outside and start a band. I'd love to see it. Make sure you post um, pictures below or tag our um, library in any of the posts you put on social media. We'd love to see those. And then upcoming, we have another Quick Bites video coming up on Monday at 10 a.m. So please come join us for that. And we uh, really appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. I'm going to end this video, which means I have to stand up. So <laughs> thank you guys so much. And I hope you guys had a lot of fun today.